Taskmaster boy. He's getting a draft of the million volts. We have a Tesla coil. We have a Dance Dance Revolution. Right? We have a laptop. Hey guys, and welcome to another weekly vlog. This week we have a bunch of BTS. Charles also set up DDR on the Tesla coil. That's Dance Dance Revolution. And I'm about to attempt to draw the perfect circle. Master boy. Oh, what was this here? Well, if we're making an MCU shield, it only makes sense to test it against MCU tech that we've done in the past. We're really hoping that this is like the best shield we've ever done. What shield is this? The Taskmaster shield from the new Black Widow movie. Nice. Yeah. First up, it'll be tested against some mortal tech. So we have a wall. We have a two by four and we have bricks. And if it holds up against those, we move on to the MCU tech. And after that, we got a super fun test that you'll have to watch the video to check out. Nice. When the shield hits the drywall, a bunch of particles will come out the back of the drywall. And I think I want to light the back end so I can see those particles a little more clearly. Nice. Kind of a thing. This new camera guy? There's something weird about him. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't say much. Uh, what is Go to Hacksmith's dark store. <laughs> what are you attaching to your own? A big metal plate that I'm going to smash stuff with and hopefully get to, you know, not look like Daryl and or James. What character uses this? Um, well, both Captain America and Taskmaster. And this particular one is Taskmaster's shield. So, uh, basically Captain America's shield, but we've made it way stronger. And uh, I think it looks a little bit cooler too. The shield is complete. Time for testing. First up, let's see what it can do against mortal materials. Oh! Oh! Let's see what this can do to drywall. Let's see what this can do to drywall. Let's see what this can do to drywall. And then like start your action. Sorry, one more, one more. Sorry. Let's see what this can do to drywall. Nice. That looks awesome. Oh man, I'm so happy I have attached the light to the frame. Hey, as much screaming as possible. Go berserk, but let them know you're gonna go berserk before you go berserk. Okay. That is awesome. Went clean through. Let's see what we can do to be some wood. Down. Two forty. I've got the white there. Yeah, just on him. Can you do the motion for me, Robin? Yeah, I like that. That's gonna look cool. I guess we should try concrete. Easy. Give us your uh, your celebration dance. Woo! Nice. Damn. Oh. So rolling on the wide. No chance. Yeah. Let's cut for now. We've seen what it can do. Now, let's see what it can take. Okay. 
You got something? Kevin? Check this out. Damn. What's going on? What's up? How's your experience so far as uh, pretty good. Pass master? Pretty good, pretty good. You know, wearing a fireproof suit, so no worries. Didn't nice. barely felt it. Nice. Uh, who would have thought that something that keeps heat in or heat out so well can keep so much heat in? Sweaty? Yeah. I just realized. What are you doing in here? Uh, I'm filming a thumbnail. Or I mean, shooting a thumbnail because I'm not really filming it, is it? Uh, what is this? You tell me. Hey, give me your best. Uh, I'm about to fight your face. Yeah! Wait, This thing is not light, and I've been holding it off for like 10 minutes now. It's like a 45 pound dumbbell okay. strapped to my arm. Ooh. Yeah, here's the flat. Uh, <laughs> so flat. This test is getting wild. What is oh, this thing yeah. now? Now I'm getting uh, shocked by lightning. <laughs> so I got the shield grounded. So this will keep me safe. This one wire here. It's gonna prevent the electricity from going through me. Instead, it'll go through this wire. Nice. But it's easier for the electricity to go, to go through the wire than it is through me. If it doesn't work, he's gonna get zapped with a million volts. So, uh -oh. we'll find out. You're gonna zap him. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's get into place. All right. Loud noises. <laughs> Loud noises. And rolling. We know it can stop fire, but can I catch lightning with it? <laughs> oh, that's sick. Let's see if it can survive our original Captain America shield. Rolling. Go for it. Well, the copper got a little scratch, but no issues otherwise. Let's move on to the only. Even a dent. One hand. Which, which side am I hitting away? Ready? My hand really can go like this. They call it Stormbreaker. But is it also a shield breaker? Let's find out. Ooh, that put a good dent in it. What's all of this? Well, you see, we have a Tesla coil. We have a Dance Dance Revolution mat. We have a laptop. We have a MIDI synthesizer that connects to the Tesla coil. And because we live in the future, we can combine all these things into one functioning system that lets us play terrible music really loud through a very inconvenient speaker with our feet. Yeah. How hard could it possibly be? Cool. Let's do it. So now, if we plug that in, it should start shooting sparks out. But we'll also need to dim the lights and actually give it power first. Huh. And it works. Oh my god. Now, there's one important detail here. Does anyone know how to play music? Let's see if I can do this. Nice. Ta-da, that was my own creation. What, what are the notes? C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Oh, this one is Do uh, the root sandstorm. All right, that's as much as I can get. Ooh. Woo! It's like close enough, right, but it's not the right now. Is, is that gonna be the? Uh, <laughs> is this gonna be the band at your wedding? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nice. 
It's hard with two hands, huh? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Can you do a Super Mario? And then you need to drop down an octave, which we don't have. Yeah, the whole thing doesn't fit into one octave, so we're kind of screwed. Uh-oh. Think we're good for today, people. <laughs> people got to film. That was awesome. Yeah! How did you set it up? What, what, what did you use? Well, you see, I used a custom Python program. If you want to use it yourself, it's going to be available for download somewhere. Owen will tell you. Somewhere down there. Somewhere down in the description below. Woo! Bye. Bye. We'll straighten it out just a tad more. And then we can just tuck that rope in behind. What is this, Daryl? This is Carbonite Beauties. You probably are seeing this post Mandalorian finale. So the series is like done, and in the Mando finale, James is frozen in carbonite. So we were like, okay, well, we're obviously gonna have to make that. Do we just make a whole video on it? And uh, here, we, here we are at the end of that said video. It's gonna look cool. We're trying to like replicate Jabba's palace. Who's gonna play Jabba? Who's gonna play Jabba? Bogdan. <laughs> Welcome to Hacksmith Film School. We'll be your instructors. Bag machine. Hit that big. This is what? This is our reference image from the movie. That's our reference and then that's where we're at right now. <laughs> got a good, we've got a good talking bit for you later. It's about cookies. Do you like cookies? Yeah. I, 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 gonna, yeah. I'm gonna teach you about cookies. You don't need film school. We'll teach you everything you need to know. Two people that went to film school. Cookies. Flags. ND. Uh, Saturation. What other camera words? Camera. Camera. <laughs> Microphone. Microphone. Audio. All right, here's how you make your own diploma. Is here's you here's my diploma. Will you give me my diploma? Yes. Okay, ready? Alright, I'm ready. ready. Class of 2021, Rhiannon, here you go. I present you with this diploma. Thank you. For finishing uh, film school. I did it. It took three years, but I did it. What's this for? Uh, we're gonna mount lights to it. Uh, let's go up top. We've been consistently using this, like, what is this, uh, box tube. Beauty, teamwork. Teamwork. Um, so this is a cookie. It is used to form light in a certain pattern. Normally, the holes in the cookie are more rounded. Um, they can be used really creatively, like in music videos, or um, I know sometimes they're used to like just create shadows on people's faces in certain parts Like if someone's like hiding in a forest, you could use a cookie to like create foliage Shadows on someone's face as they're like hiding in the bushes kind of a thing. Yeah. We're gonna be using it to create a graded lights very similar to uh, Jabba's Palace, so it's a matter of just adjusting these lights and getting it figured out So we're uh, yeah hoping it's gonna work and it'll look cool. What's that thing you're using? This is called Black Rat. Used for like stage productions, but also on film sets to help mold a light. There's Black Rat, but then there's also barn doors. If a light doesn't have barn doors to kind of close it, you can use this as a MacGyvered fix.
Where can people find those photos? <laughs> uh, head over to hacksmith underscore team on Instagram. So Daryl, was this a success? Or are you happy with your shot? I'm really happy with it. It looks really, really good. The cookies that Bogdan and Chris cut out on the laser cutter turned out great. And we plan on using them in the future. Uh, the carbonate looks great. I think it looks really close to the reference image, the reference image that we were looking at, so. Give me a quick rundown of your uh, lighting setup here. Lighting setup? Okay. Uh, it's a little jank. <laughs> it's got some jank to it, so come with me. Uh, your standard headlamp. Uh, we found that they were giving us the best shadow for some reason. I'm assuming because it's like a singular LED or like very few where our big panel lights were just kind of blowing out the whole situation. We wanted crisp shadows. So having a light that's very directional, I think really helped. And then over here, watch out for the smoke machine. We got some uh, of our favorite LED tubes, just set to a nice like orange to get that kind of warm feel that's in the reference image as well. And a nice little uh, top light going over top. Um, it's wrapped in some black wrap like I was talking about before. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And then, oh yeah, another uh, little flashlight over there. Nice, yeah, and I see that you've MacGyvered a couple things with like yeah. yeah, the black wrap and uh, cardboard too. Yeah. What are you using the cardboard for? Um, so. Hey, hey Daryl, what do you what do you call a wealthy Wookie? A wealthy Wookie? Rich and chewy. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that interview was just to set up that oh joke. Oh my god! <laughs> Did you know that? Got him. <laughs> We're using this cardboard actually to flag off the light over here. So that the, the, the shadow, I hate it. Oh, oh, film school. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Good stuff, though. Thanks for watching. That wasn't a waste of time. Well, that was another weekly vlog. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Maybe check out the merch, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. You did it! No, no, I didn't! Perfect score! <laughs>